welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and I currently live in the Dominican Republic. I teach here at a school and since one of my coworkers tested positive, today I'm going to go get tested for COVID-19 myself. I'm going to take you guys along with me on my journey. I hope you enjoy or if you're planning on traveling here, I hope this is helpful and helps calm your nerves or anything. So I will show you what the process is like. There's only a couple of people here when I got here and some of them have already left. Also, I think they're playing Survivor on the TV, which is interesting. But yeah, I'm just waiting. I gave them my insurance and at least it's air conditioning in here. That's very nice. So I just got back home and I took the test, which was honestly the fastest part about that whole thing. Because of traffic, getting there and getting back was probably what took the longest. Besides that, I didn't have to wait very long. There were very few people in there and it was a relatively small waiting room. So I don't think you would have to wait for very long anyways. The place I went to was sort of a dentist office turned testing place. And I think it is more convenient for Dominicans just because they take insurance and the rules have gotten more flexible for testing here so it used to be that you had to have a prescription for a test in order for it to be covered by insurance but now just about anyone with insurance can get it especially at that place so some places still require the prescription but now that there are places that don't i doubt that's going to last long i went in i gave them my insurance and they later asked for my passport and for my number on whatsapp and i'm going to get the results within 72 hours so it's about 2 p.m. on Monday, so hopefully by Thursday, 2 p.m., I will have my results. And I'll let you guys know what those are. Hey guys, so today is Friday, and at about 10 a.m. this morning, I got my results back, and I got no detectado, so not detected, in other words, negative. So thankfully, I got negative results. However, the 72 hours would have been, as I mentioned, about Thursday, 2 p.m. So they did come a little bit later than expected, which would have been bad if I was on a plane trying to get to the U.S. because I know they require a test within the last 72 hours. So I'm glad I was not in that situation. But overall, 
to process was really smooth. I'll include a screenshot of what my results look like. So funny story, they actually didn't send me the results. So when I was there, they took my number on WhatsApp and I saw that they messed it up. So I asked to redo it and then they got it correct the second time. I expected there to be no problem for them to send me the results, but my school supervisor this morning actually called them and she asked why it was taking longer and they said they didn't know so they would look into it and then they sent her the results and she forwarded them to me. So I don't know what that was all about. I mean, it's WhatsApp so it should work even though I use it with my US number. But anyways, in the end, I got my results and they were negative so all is well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to someone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!